Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Capricorns who are watching. So if you have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Capricorn, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get started and begin with your reading and your energy Capricorn, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Also Capricorn, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I do describe from your person, that could be how you feel here. The roles could be reversed just however this reading resonates for you. Please only go ahead and take what resonates out of this reading Capricorn. But let's go ahead and officially begin with your reading, starting out with some specific channeled messages for you all. Can we please receive a few messages from my Capricorns, please, when it comes to their energy? Let's go ahead and take this message right here. Let's go ahead and receive a few more messages when it comes to this energy we have so far between Capricorn and their person. Who's this person that Capricorn is dealing with currently? All right, let's go ahead and take from the top here. I'll read this as an extra. It says, I know what I want for myself. Don't try to put ideas in my head. Let's go ahead and keep that as well. I will pull an additional message moving forward. But let's go ahead and receive one more message, please, for now for my Capricorns. And we'll stick to what we have so far. So first message that did come out is, when I love, I tend to stray away. Everything finally makes sense now. I'm putting my trust in you. I hope it's right. Once again, I know what I want for myself. Don't try to put ideas in my head. Where do you see me in your life? And we also have, you appear in my dreams. I'm satisfied with that. So Capricorn, this is someone you already know, could be someone you've walked away from because of the lack of confirmation or the back and forth, or it's like you observing this person and how they make decisions for themselves and how they make decisions for this connection. And if it's a lot of back and forth, I feel like for you Capricorn, you're able to decipher what energy you want to have in your life and not accepting just anything from a person, no matter how much interest or how much hope you have for the both of you. I feel like this person Capricorn, they were not matching up to your standards or your expectations here. And even with the expectations part, you may have not placed expectations on this person. It's like you took what they told you, you gave it time, you knew you couldn't put all of your trust into this person, but it's like you saved yourself from some disappointment. I feel like at any point in time you were ready to walk away if it meet or if it meant protecting your heart, protecting your energy here. And I feel like this person did not have a plan of action when it came to you. And on top of that, the communication that they were giving you, it did not help your it did not help you, Capricorn. So Let's just go ahead and get into our first message. Let's start with, you appear in my dreams, I'm satisfied with that. So, I feel like this could be a mutual energy share between you two as far as your energy Capricorn. You may refer to the memories, the dreams that you have about this person, but that's good enough if it means that this person isn't going to be in your life and causing this back and forth and this inconsistency. This might be a person that you remember or refer back to with the memories, but you'd rather touch on those memories instead of being in something that lacks consistency here. 
And once again, you may have had feelings for this person, but as much as you want for something to happen, you can't force it to happen, especially since more is needed from this person's side. As far as this person's energy, Capricorn, I feel like they may resonate or this could be their energy as well. Being that they're all in their head about this, they may fantasize or dream about you, but that's it. They're not taking that appropriate action in order to make things work between the both of you. We also have when I love, I tend to stray away. I feel like this has been this person's energy towards this connection, Capricorn. It's hard to gauge where their mind is at because their actions are not there and they may say something and do the complete opposite or not come through. And for you, Capricorn, from your stance, it's like, how are we supposed to make this work when you're coming across distant, when I've been open, when I've been receptive to you? So I feel like that's their energy, Capricorn. We also have, where do you see me? Where do you see me in your life? Once again, your energy, you want something straightforward, directional, and intentional. So it's like, are we just having a fling here? Is this something casual to you? I want per permanent, long-term people in my life, not just someone temporary. Especially when I'm putting my true thoughts, my emotions, my sincerity into this. I'm making time for you because I want you to come closer to me. I know what I want for myself. Don't try to put ideas in my head. Your energy, once again, Capricorn. I feel like for you, you have to put your foot down or you've always had your foot down on what you will tolerate, the love you will accept for yourself. So if this person is giving you low level love offers, that's not what you're settling for here. You're not about to persuade me or have me yearning or believing in something that's false or something that won't come from you. There could have been some separation between you two Capricorn. We have everything finally makes sense now, so I feel like this could be a dual energy. As far as your energy, you putting together the pieces here, and based off of this person's actions, their distance, it's like, if this is how it's going to be, then I no longer want this. I see right through you, or I see where your, your capability, your ability to give, and it does not match mine here. So I, I see things for how they are, and that's what I'm going to tap into. This could be this person's energy as far as reflecting or sorting out what's needed to do when it comes to you and making this work here. And then we also have, I'm putting my trust in you. I hope it's right. So this is for my Capricorns who are open to reconciling things with this person. You putting your trust in them is more like taking it one step at a time we'll see how it goes i'm still interested in you but once again i'm ready to walk away when i feel the need to if this is not serving me but let's go ahead and see what else we have going on for capricorn please what other energy do we have for capricorn and what else is coming towards capricorn so we do have this card Let's go ahead and see what we have with this pool, Capricorn. I'll read the rest as extras. Let's take this message, but let's go through these as well. My favorite memories involve you. I feel like you're my lover and my best friend all in one. And I have been through a lot. Therefore, I am, I am protective with my energy. So... Touching on this message, I do feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. You're not about to pull yourself through the ringer just to get hurt or not to get anything out of it. And by anything out of it, it's that reciprocation, that respect, that courtesy from a partner. So feel free to take those messages as they resonate for you. Let's receive two more messages, please, regarding what's coming up towards Capricorn. Let's stick with what we have. You challenge me, you touch my soul. I can only tell you for now how much I want this with you. You made me feel like I was the reason to blame. And lastly, was this all real or was I imagining it? 
let's start with this message capricorn i feel like this could be your energy was this all real or was i imagining it there may have been some growth during the initial stages of this connection and that made you feel reassured about this person's intentions what they were looking for when they were with you feeling like you two were on the same page but once this distant energy started to occur it was like where do you see me in in your life and what are your true motives in getting to know me here like why drop your energy all of a sudden for what reason was this even true or genuine sincere to begin with here I can only tell you for now how much I want this with you. I'm gonna combine this message with you challenge me, you touch my soul. I do feel like this is your, or this person's energy towards you Capricorn, you challenge me, you touch my soul. With you, they know that you're looking to go upwards. And if a person is allowing toxicity or low vibrational energy to rule over their life, or if they're more focused into that, they know that it won't mix with you so in order to pursue this connection they need to come correct here but because they weren't ready to make those changes and come correct they were just telling you this capricorn i can only tell you for now how much i want this with you it's like they painted a different picture from their reality or they expressed something that was not true or something that did not fit what they were willing or capable of doing in the moment and then lastly, we have, you made me feel like I was the reason to blame. I feel like this may only resonate for some of my Capricorns here. Um, this person may have acted out towards you or took things out on you. Say you addressed them, you confronted them. Instead of taking responsibility or acknowledging what they could have done better, they may have pinpointed it against you. And I feel like that could have been another turn off or breaking point for you Capricorn I know what I want for myself don't try to put ideas in my head don't make it sound like I'm asking for too much or even if I am and you're not able to do that then say it but don't throw it all against me and as far as communication it could have showed you Capricorn that this person does not have that maturity or those skills to have an uncomfortable conversation because sometimes the hardest conversations are hard because the truth comes out. So it's like this person may have deflected from the real issue. Let's see what sign you may be dealing with Capricorn. Can we please receive a sign? We do have cancer. Another sign please, and that is Aries. One more sign please for my Capricorns, and that is Virgo. All right, Capricorn. So we have Cancer, Aries, Virgo, but you may be dealing with any sign. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.